Five animals that could defeat a sperm whale. Sperm whales are the largest of the toothed whales, with one of the most widespread global distributions of any marine mammal. They can be found from the equator to the edge of the Arctic and Antarctic ice. They get their name from the waxy substance found in their heads, called spermaceti. The spermaceti is an oil sac that helps the whales focus sound. From 1800 to 1987, sperm whales were a primary target of the commercial whaling industry, which nearly wiped out all sperm whale populations. Despite the fact that whaling is no longer a significant danger, sperm whale numbers are still recovering. The majority of sperm whales are dark grey, however, some have white patches on their bellies. They are the only living cetacean with a single blowhole on the left side of the crown of the head, asymmetrically placed. Their heads are extremely large, accounting for about one-third of their total body length. On each side of the lower jaw, there are between 20 and 26 big teeth. Males attain a maximum length of about 24 meters, 78.7 feet, and weigh up to 50 metric tons, 55.1 tons. Females are smaller, usually measuring less than about 14 meters, 45.9 feet, and weighing less than 25 metric tons, 27.6 tons. Number 5. Killer Whales it is clear that a single killer whale will have no chance against a house. But like a wolf against a bear, when he has the pack on his side, there is a chance. Depending on the number of killer whales, they may kill a female or a male. A male grows quite large and will be very difficult to kill by the pod of killer whales. If winning means being able to kill your opponent, then a pod of orcas will emerge victoriously. They won't always do, but they'll keep trying until they succeed. Orcas are the second smartest dolphin, and they would win with numbers and strategy. Blue whales have been attacked by orcas before, and they were successful. They can easily outsmart the sperm whales and target their weak spots. Sperm whales are a big target and not as quick, and we're just talking about one sperm whale, not a pod. In Sri Lanka in 2013, a pod of orcas attacked a group of sperm whales. The orcas were vicious, even though they didn't win. A group of 35 orcas fought nine sperm whales in California, killing one and injuring others. Orcas are more likely to attack anything. They are brave. When fighting sharks, Orcas, for example, know that they must go for the gills and flip the shark over. Although sperm whales aren't as small as sharks and lack blubber, orcas could prey on weaker regions such as the eyes or exhaust the sperm whales before feasting on them. Orcas are the most powerful predators on the planet. The largest prey is sperm whales. It's not all about the size. Number 4. Megalodon. So we've got the world's largest tooth whale versus the world's largest shark. Who would win? Megalodon was the world's largest shark and the world's second largest fish. Megalodon's size ranged from 42 to 49 feet, 13 to 15 meters. They are 30 to 40 tons in weight. Megalodon chases whales whereas sperm whales hunt giant squid. The biting force of a sperm whale is unknown. However, it is likely to be weaker than that of a killer whale, or approximately 19,000 psi. Megalodon, on the other hand, has a much stronger bite force, estimated to be around 40,000 psi. The megalodons were also faster than the sperm whales in sprints. This is pretty tough, considering Megalodon fought Leviathan a lot, and the Leviathan is an even larger evolved sperm whale. I definitely think a Megalodon could beat a sperm whale. Of course, as I said in the video Megalodon vs Sperm Whale, 
If the whale is bigger, chances are the wheel will turn. Number three, mosasaurs. Based on a specimen of mosasaurs Hoffmani, the longest mosasaurs were estimated to be 56 feet, approximately 17 meters long. Despite the fact that the sperm whale is larger, Mosasaurs Hoffmani was far more aggressive. Therefore, I see Mosasaurs initiating the fight. Anyway, the fight seems pretty even, even though sperm whale was way heavier. Mosasaurs was a warm-blooded creature. It would be a fascinating fight if Mosasaurs could avoid the sperm whale bull and possibly bite the tail. It would be over for the whale since it wouldn't be able to swim. Well, the mosasaurs have much stronger jaws, despite being lighter. Although its jaws are narrow, it can still disable the sperm whale by biting its tail or flippers. It is not a good idea to flee. And it's very hard for me to believe that he could do that because the mosasaur was very mobile and flexible. Mosasaurs also have belly ribs. These truly protect organs such as the lungs, heart, and others. These animals were made to kill, and I think they could have easily finished a sperm whale, maybe even bigger than it. Number 2. Liviatin Compared to sperm whales, Liviatin is more remarkable. They are predatory whales that consume other whales and other sea creatures. Liviatin was considerably more amazing than a sperm whale, even if they were the same size. Liviatin is an animal designed more to kill other large animals. His teeth are significantly larger and thicker than sperm whale teeth, allowing him to inflict more serious wounds. Remember that sperm whales only have bottom teeth and that their bite is much weaker than Liviatin's. Liviatin could certainly do what sperm whales do, such as ramming, but this animal was designed differently from the sperm whale. Liviatin was also way faster than a sperm whale, so it can dodge to the side from the sperm whale's ram, bite off its fins like the megalodon, and immobilize it. So, in such a fight, you know who would win. Number 1. Dinosuchus Dinosuchus was a large crocodiliform that lived from 82 million years ago up until the end Cretaceous extinction event began. Its main competitors as a large predator may have included sharks, marine reptiles like mosasaurs, theropods like the Tyrannosaurus and other Dinosuchus. Its main prey were sea turtles and dinosaurs. Using more complete remains, Size estimates attained for specimens varied from 26 to 33 feet, 8 to 10 meters, and 2.5 to 5 tons. So imagine the biggest crocodile that ever existed. Probably the fight with a sperm whale would have been quite difficult, and the victory of the crocodile would have happened only if the whale was smaller, about the same size. But due to its armored skin and superior weaponry, such as its mouth full of teeth, and also using the surprise attack, he would have bitten the whale's flippers, winning in the end. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.